Welcome back to CBS This Morning. Some health professionals say addiction to anti-anxiety medication is a growing epidemic. 91 million prescriptions were written for anti-anxiety drugs like Xanax last year. They're commonly prescribed for anxiety, panic disorders, and insomnia. Roughly one in eight American adults use them. Xanax is part of a class of anti-anxiety drugs commonly referred to as benzos and is one of the most prescribed psychiatric drugs in the United States. But some users can experience brutal withdrawal symptoms when they try to quit. In a new episode of 60 Minutes Plus, correspondent Seth Doan spoke with one young woman about her struggle with addiction. We met Grace on day 240 of a grueling process of trying to wean herself off an anti-anxiety drug she was taking on doctor's orders. How is it to still have to take it? It's honestly miserable. Um, it's a little bit, well, no, it's definitely a mind game because I want nothing to do with this, yet in order to function and get off of it, I have to keep taking it. She was 16 when a psychiatrist gave her a typical starter dose of Xanax of 0.25 milligrams after she says she was physically and sexually assaulted. At her highest dose, she told us she was prescribed up to 24 times that amount, 6 milligrams. Did your doctor express any concerns about upping the dose? <laughs> no, never. Did your doctor talk to you about problems getting addicted? Never. What did your doctor say? She just wrote it to me and gave it to me. And you thought what? This doctor's trying to help me because my anxiety disorder is getting so much worse. So I must need what she's giving me. Grace told us her doctor also never warned her about the challenges of coming off the drug, what's known as tapering. What does it feel like to taper? It's night sweats, night terrors, massive rebound panic attacks. I set a timer of 15 minutes to tell myself, let's survive this 15 minutes and then it'll be done. And then when the 15 minutes is up? Uh, I hope to God it's done, but it's usually not. Um, so I usually reset that timer. And 60 Minutes Plus correspondent Seth Doan joins us now. Seth, good morning. Good morning to you. Um, we just heard some of the challenges from Grace there. What have you heard from the makers of Xanax? We spoke with Beatrice, which is, they are the makers of Xanax. They told us that this is a drug that is a treatment option, has been a proven safe and effective, has worked for millions of uh, patients. They say that they're always updating uh, the label, the warning label, as guidance evolves. And they say it's imperative for medical professionals to work with patients, not only during the course of this, but also to identify the risks before they are prescribed. That's one of the things that lot from people who are going through this process like grace who you see in that clip she said i just was never warned i had no idea that this would become something that i would feel so addicted to and then have such difficulty tapering coming off of it well, you know even just talking about it before we heard from grace there were, it seemed like there were parallels to the opioid crisis and one doctor does compare it to that what are some of the similarities between them absolutely we spoke with Dr. Anna Lemke, who's in charge of addiction medicine at Stanford, and she told us that she feels that she, she was one of the early warning doctors out there who were testifying and such worrying about this, warning about this opioid crisis. And she said she sees a lot of parallels. And even though the, the highest number of prescriptions uh, for benzos uh, we're back in 2013, and there has been a slight downward trend. She says they saw that also in the opioid epidemic, where doctors prescribe this, and maybe there's an awareness of some of the risks. Those uh, prescriptions might go down a bit, but you have which is this chronic relapsing uh, issue where people are then replacing the drugs with something else. We spoke with Lil Xan. Uh, Lil Xan is a, is a rapper. Xan is short for Xanax. And he was taking 50 times the initial starter dose, which, of course, he could not get. So he said in what was given by his doctor with what he could find from dealer street. All right, Seth, thank you very much. You can watch Seth's 60 Minutes Plus report right now on the Viacom CBS streaming service, Paramount Plus.